Hi all. Today in this video we will discuss RabbitMQ 3 steps to set up a, in our local machine using the docker. So RabbitMQ is nothing but your open source message broker software. So which is based on the AMQP which is the advanced message queuing protocol and the RabbitMQ server is written in that language is the most popular language behind the WhatsApp architecture. Uh, and this is the open telecom platform framework for clustering and the failover so as usual we have to for the official website we have to go to the hub.docker.com check the rabbitmq official image so there are two tags available one is the latest one and another one is the management tags so uh, latest tag and other tags is about the versioning and the support uh, so which will give you the uh, play in the rabbitmq server but if you need the additional tools like uh, web management console to access the rabbitmq or additional plugins then use the management tag so for this video we are using the docker pool and the management tag uh, image if you have to enable the additional plugins then you can mention the like if you want to enable the different plugins like you have the different tags like three management two management like this so this way we can enable the plugins okay so already i have pulled the image we'll just verify docker images grip RabbitMQ. So we have the RabbitMQ latest and management. So for this video, we are using the management one because we wanted to access through using the web console. Okay, so for now, let's go ahead and run the Docker run command. Okay, to create the container. For that, uh, we have this command which will run in the detached mode as usually. We have provided the container name dev uh, RabbitMQ, RabbitMQ dev hostname if you want to access through using the different application we will see that in the next lecture and the port mapping so this port mapping is for the your uh, web management console access and this part uh, 5672 is the default RabbitMQ port okay. so let's run the command okay I'm copying and paste here so let's wait for the memo and container is created we'll verify using the R logs mm, okay so once this uh, container is up we can access the or we can verify using docker ps we can access the logs as usually and we can access the web console to access the web console you have to open your browser visit here one sec one five six seven two through which you are able to access the Just let me see the plugins one more time. Yeah, one five six seven two one five six seven two. It's not restarted. Let him discover. Let it. Let it. Yeah, RabbitMQ web display. Now it's up. Okay, so you are able to see. So default username and password is the guest which we are using. Once we are able to log in, it will show all the dashboard, uh, or you different connection channels. What are the exchanges? What are the different queues? You can create the queues as well. Add a new queue. You can mention the queue name. What type of it is? Just a stream. Test underscore stream. You wanted to create. You can specify the arguments as well, and add the queue. So it will add the queue here. It will show all the details who are the consumers for that queue, bindings, and each and every detail about that queue. So what's the status? Everything. So same same thing. It's it's nothing but the your dashboard kind of a thing. So and you can access the tutorials as well by docs and everything by using this below links. So that's it for now. I hope uh, this is the useful for you, and you uh, you will be able to enjoy with this. You can create the queue, play with it and play with the all the rabbit mq thank you